So we're joined here with John Rogers, big Grant Holt, uh, as he's known on Twitter after a pretty depressing defeat. What do you make of that, mate? To represent the game, I'm going to sit, stand here in silence. In the last two minutes, I'm just going to say lots of words. It was just really, it's really sad, isn't it? We, we, I could see it nicking at them nicking a goal. They have one chance. I don't think Ruddy's got dirty gloves. It's just really depressing, really depressing game. I mean, the, the refereeing performance was even worse, wasn't it? It was absolutely disgusting, is a, is a word I'd use to describe it. That's strong, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> it's very strong. Um, well, I've just went, I went on the Twitter account for Charlton. They admitted it should have been a penalty. The handball, it, it knocked off his hand. It, he scooped it away. It was handball, clear. I mean, the whole Gerald stand up, the whole Norwich and Peter went up. It was a penalty, clearly a penalty. So, really disappointing. There was the goal, the disallowed goal. I, I, the referee gave it, I'm sure. He put his hand away, walked away, and suddenly no one knew what happened. He wasn't a great referee in performance. But we can't blame the referee when we're not putting the ball in the back of the net. They had so many players behind the team. I mean, I mean, the first half performance was with like was what what we've been used to all season. Fairly slow build-up play. We were fairly controlled. Always, always looked comfortable. And then that goal from Charlton just completely knocked us off our off our stride, wasn't it? It's a, I said it's really, it's really disappointing. Only because they didn't deserve it. Simple as that. They just did not deserve the goal. They did not deserve the play. They, I just said Ruddy hasn't made a save all game. I don't think. Just. The teams are going to do this to us. They're going to come here and try and get a nil-nil, and they got a nil-nil until they obviously they break away with that that goal. I didn't they expect it? They were happy with the point. They'd have been over the moon with the point. Three points, smash and grab. Would you say that the first half performances are getting even more worrying, or do you think that it's something we don't really need to look at if we're going to start putting in the performances in the second half? I don't think the first half is because it's, the game's ninety minutes. You play ninety minutes, you you, you don't, don't get points for after half time. So no, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Coming to we're. It kind of feels like the away performance is going to be enough to get us promoted this year because they're hopefully hoping an attack and we can hit on the break like we have done the last four or five games. At home games, the away teams are going to come and, and try and stop us to play, which Charlton did brilliantly. If they played any deep today, Charlton, they'd probably be underground. I tell you, it was really... They just didn't push forward at all until the last minute when they just nicked a goal. I mean, our last three home games now have been fairly disappointing results. As you said, there our away form will hopefully do be, um, be good enough for us this season. But what do you think is going wrong at home at the moment? Just as I said, teams are getting behind the ball, stopping us from playing. And we've got to break down 10 players every single game. And we've done it a couple of times when we got a bit of momentum behind us when we scored there, you know, against Coventry the last couple of games. But I'm not too worried yet. I mean, it's the first defeat since the open day of the season and it was a smash and grab. So it's not the end of the world. Move on. Keep smiling. Wave, wave your flag <laughs> everywhere and you will get, we'll get move on. It's good. Cheers, John. All right, thank you. Cheers, mate. You're welcome.